like in your exercise first question is Ravish ordered a pizza and paid rupees 262.5 inclusive of taxes of rupees 12.5 find the tax person so that means if ravis want to eat pizza to pizza person tell him the total amount taxes included in that he said that tax on the pizza is 12.5 rupees extra amount he has to pay and including this tax price ravish total paid to the shopkeeper 262.5 rupees you have to find what was the tax percent in this so first we will consider our tax percent is equal to x percent and tax actually is given 12.5 rupees bill amount is 262.5 rupees that is taxes included in that so <clears throat> if we are to going to calculate the tax so we must know that what was the actual price of the pizza without tax that is 262.5 you have to subtract tax from that 12.5 that give you 250 rupees 250 rupees is the actual price of the pizza without tax so now you have to find the tax person according to the statement if you find x percent of 250 rupees so is equal to 12.5 according to the statement this is the tax x person because i already told you so how much actual price set by the shopkeeper tax is always calculate on that and the last billing amount price so our billing amount price is 250 rupees for pizza and x percent of 250 that is given by that is given 12.5 rupees so percentage changes to 100 when you cross multiply check your x value is 5 that means 5% was the extra amount paid by the customer similarly here if ankur bought some article from a store for rupees 89.25 including 5% gst find the price before gst was added so if gst is not added in that what was the price that means 89.25 price uh, that is a total amount after including the gst so we will consider let original price is equal to x rupees price after gst is equal to 89.25 rupees gst is equal to 5% so according to the statement x plus 5% of x is equal to because in the original amount gst price will be added gst price is 5% of original price so original price plus 5% of original price is equal to 89.25 so now you have to take x common 1 plus 5% when you calculate you will get original price is equal to 85 rupees similarly question number 3 here rohan bought a mixture for rupees 2000 and pays 12% sales tax on it sale tax means gst how much did he pay total to the shopkeeper if mark price is 2000 no discount no profit is there so this will be considered as our original final price tax is 12% 12% of 2000 is 240 rupees and he has to pay 240 extra in the form of tax uh, in with included in 2000 2000 plus 240 is uh, 2240 rupees next is your fourth question minky purchased a fridge for 30680 minky the market se ek fridge buy kiya 30680 rupees including gst gst is included in that if the mark price of the fridge is 26000 find the rate of gst now mark price of the fridge was set by the shopkeeper is 26000 okay but person pay 30680 because gst is included in that so in that case our mark price because no profit no discount is there so mark price of fridge we consider as 26000 and selling price total selling price means gst is included in that 30680 so gst is equal to x percent so what is the gst we consider as x percent that we have to find then according to the statement that means mark price plus this is the gst because GST always calculate on the final price. X percent of mark price then is equal to total selling price. So we have to solve calculation by two ways. Either you shift twenty six thousand on this side, that is X percent of twenty six thousand 
26,000 and here when you subtract 4,680 after calculation you will get x values 18 that means GST is 18 percent but if you take common 26,000 1 plus x percent so first you have to cross multiply this one then one shift on this one this side on uh, transpose on the another side after taking the LCM 30,680 minus 26,000 so that will you give, uh, give same value 4,680 by 260 give you 18 after division that is 18 percent next is your fifth question fifth question is a TV set is purchased for 4,000 and sold it at a profit of 5 percent now here profit is there okay so when person customer going to pay the GST so final price will be in the original price profit will be added so that will be considered as your final price so GST here is 12 percent profit is 5 percent purchase for 4000 how much does the customer pay in all for the TV set so what was the actual payment of the customer that you have to find because 4000 is the mark price cost price set by the uh, shopkeeper okay so we can say that this mark price also or uh, shop uh, cost price also cost price also key uh, generally we think that cost price means uh, that is bought by the shopkeeper from somewhere else okay so but when a person want to buy something so whatever mark price set by the shopkeeper so that will be considered as cost price is considered as mark price okay suppose person wants that same price as mark price as cost price so here either we can write mark price of tv set or cost price of tv set so mark price of tv set is 4000 but shopkeeper want to make the profit of 5 percent that means 5 percent of this mark price will be added so that becomes a actual selling price of the tv set because shopkeeper think that because shopkeeper ne kahi se 4000 ka khareeda aur ab wo bechne ke liye lagayega he want to set the price mark price he is not set the mark price because a tv set is purchased purchased for 4000 either we can set with mark price or either we can set with cost price so that is the same thing cost price of tv set is equal to 4000 so if now person want to make profit obviously when you buy something from the market so if you buy if you whatever amount you buy if you sell at the same rate so there will be a no profit no loss so what is the fun of buying and selling okay so if shopkeeper <coughs> buy something for his shop from somewhere else so basically he want the profit from that so he will set the profit 5 percent 5 percent profit means he added 5 percent of same amount in this amount like 4000 plus 5 percent of 4000 so after calculation he set the price of selling price 4200 when customer want to give 4200 12 percent is set by the government as gst look gst don't bother about how much price is set by the shopkeeper okay gst don't bother about that gst only bother about that gst only bother about that how much percent is charged by the shopkeeper because that is a slab slab form and that slab form is prepared by the government slab means percentage how much percent is set by the government for the particular item and what amount set by the shopkeeper government government not bother about that so price is shopkeepers own efforts but gst is fixed but gst will calculate the price set by the shopkeeper so 12 percent of 4200 that is an extra amount so that is 504 rupees that means total bill amount will be 4200 plus 504 is 4704 rupees then customer payment for tv set is equal to 4704 rupees similarly your question number six shweta purchase a dozen shirt at the rate of 700 each uh, Shweta uh, buy some shirts from the market. Shweta buy some shirt from the market. So uh, one shirt, some shirt mean dozen shirt mean twelve shirts. Okay, and the cost price of one shirt is seven hundred, and 
sold them at a profit of 8%. That means from one shirt, he got the profit of 8%. If a customer has to pay GST at the rate of 18%, if customer uh, has to pay the GST at the rate of 8%, how much will one shirt cost to the customer? So, what is the amount, total amount paid by the customer to Shweta? Because in that we have to calculate here total profit earned by Shweta after selling. Because Shweta is a shopkeeper, she uh, she is selling uh, shirts to the customer. So first you have to find how much total amount paid by the customer on one shirt to Shweta, including the GST and profit. Okay, profit after profit, what amount is there? Cal GST calculate on that profited amount. Okay, so how much will one shirt cost and after that, what will be the total profit earned by Shweta after selling all shirt? If sold, if all shirts sold by Shweta, so what was the total profit in that case? So cost price of one shirt is equal to 700. Selling price of one shirt means 8% profit will be there. Ki Shweta ne jo ek shirt kri di, 8% profit extra amount usne add kar di, usi amount ka 8%. So 8% of 700, so that is 756 rupees. GST will be calculated on this final amount. So GST, GST is equal to 18% of 756 that is 136.08 that means that much price go to the government but customer has to pay this also then total price selling price of one shirt is 756 plus 136.08 is equal to 892.08 so similarly if Cost price of one shirt is 700, 12 shirt is 8400 and if selling price of one shirt including GST is 892, then 12 shirts will be 10704.96 and profit, how much profit earned by Shweta is when you subtract this selling price minus cost price. You will get 2304.96 rupees and total profit earned by Shweta is equal to 20. 2304.96 rupees next our question is question number eight so here anil goes to a shop to buy a jacket anil market me gaya usko ek jacket kharidni thi okay the cost of jacket is 2200 so jacket ki jo cost thi wo 2200 thi with gst at the rate of 12 percent ki usme gst mila ke total amount 2200 tha Anil asked to the shopkeeper to give a discount. Sorry, a cost of jacket is 2200 with GST at the rate of 12%. 12% extra tha. Because when Anil went go to the shop, he shop to buy a jacket. The shopkeeper said that the cost of this is 2200. Hai. To shopkeeper ne, then he, when he wanted to pay, to usne shopkeeper ne bola usko ki aapko iska 12% GST bhi extra pay karna padega to anil ne bola ki mere paas to total 2200 rupees hai to aap is tarah se discount kar do jo aapka mark price hai is tarah se discount kar do ki 12% GST add hoke total hi 2200 ban jaye kyunki agar 2200 to uska mark price tha jo usne set kiya tha shopkeeper ne ab agar anil usko buy karta to usko 12% extra bhi dena padta but wo 12% extra dene ki bajaye ab wo skip nahi kar sakta gst koi bhi mana nahi kar sakta to wo bol raha hai ki 12% gst to le le but uske actual price mein is tarah se discount kar de ki uh, total hi 2200 rupees ban jaye uh, with gst and uske liye Anil asked the shopkeeper to give a discount on the price of the jacket such that he pays rupees 2200 inclusive of GST. Find the discount percent. The discount percent bhi humne isme nikalne. First, we will consider ki usko kitna price set karna padega isme taki total hi uska included GST 2200 par jaye. So, let the new amount, new mark price new mark price is equal to x so hum yahan pe consider karenge ki jo mera new mark price hai us uh, jacket ka that is is equal to x rupees okay ab according to the statement to mere paas amount kitna hona chahiye 
ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड टोटल जी एस टी मिला के जी एस टी ट्वेल्व परसेंट है देन अकॉर्डिंग टू द स्टेटमेंट अगर मैं इसी ओरिजिनल मार्क प्राइस में ट्वेल्व परसेंट ऑफ मार्क प्राइस ऐड कर दूँ तो मेरा टोटल अमाउंट ही ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड मुझे चाहिए तो उसके अकॉर्डिंग टू मेरी एक्स की वैल्यू क्या होगी पहले ही सॉल्व दिस वन आई टेक एक्स कॉमन वन प्लस ट्वेल्व परसेंट इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन प्लस ट्वेल्व बाई हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड एक्स इंटू वेन यू टेक द एल सी एम हंड्रेड प्लस ट्वेल्व बाई हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड दैट इज वन हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व बाई हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड सो वेन यू क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई दिस ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड इंटू हंड्रेड बाई वन हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व योर रिक्वायर्ड अमाउंट अप्रॉक्सीमेट आफ्टर कैलकुलेशन इज वन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी फोर so that will be your required amount for that so that because if shopkeeper set this much amount on the jacket and when 12% of gst is added in that that total amount becomes 2200 now you have to find how much price will be reduced by the shopkeeper so that will be considered as discount so discount is equal to so what was the actual price before was set and what was the new price actual price was 2200 so you have to subtract new price from the actual price so that give you 2200 minus 1964.29 so that give you 235.71 rupees that means shopkeeper has to reduce 235.71 rupees from the actual price before set by the shopkeeper now you have to find the discount percentage so let we consider let discount percent discount Uh, percent is equal to y percent so we consider discount percent is equal to y percent then according to the statement discount formula is discount must be equal to the discount percent of mark price okay so whatever percentage we are going to calculate we are always calculate according to the mark price so here we already found discount percent discount value is 235.71 y percent and mark price before was set 2200 so when you cross multiply this uh 71 by 2200 and this y percent so when you calculate this one so uh, this percent in changes in 200 235.7 by 22 by 22 Hundred y by hundred. After cross multiply, y is equal to two hundred thirty five point seven one by twenty two hundred into hundred. So that will give you ten point seven one approximately. So if you take round about, that is eleven percent. So that means discount percent. Discount percent is equal to eleven percent approximate. So that was the value of. this one now next in question number 7 publisher said the selling price of a book at rupees 15.60 per copy so i will short form of this question statement means question number 7 one author write the book publisher publish that book print that book and sell in the market price set by the publisher is 15.60 in this way and uh, author also wanted royalty from that because author write the book and publisher publish and uh, make earning from that okay so if selling price of one book set by the publisher is 15.60 so from that profit how much he will give to the author to write the book so publisher decide that for first 3000 copies he will give 2% a profit 2% uh, price to uh, 2% percent price to the author for next 3000 copies he he will give 5% uh, and for remaining copies he will give 15% amount to the uh, author so if total copies uh, 
uh, sold in the market is 11550 you have to calculate the amount of royalty earned by the author and how much profit earned by the publisher if printing cost and everything publishing cost uh, of the book is 68000 also find the profit percent made by the publisher that you have to find in this so in this like total copies total copies is equal to 11550 copies so selling price of one book is 15.60 selling price of 11550 book is, books is when you multiply 11550 into 15.60 so your total selling price or the amount of reality earned by the author next is that is 2% of first 3000 copies 5% of next 3000 copy 15% of remaining copies first you have to find how much remaining copies are there you subtract 6000 from 11550 so that is 5550 copies so and according to the statement so if one book cost is 15.60 3000 books will be 3000 into 15.60 similarly 5550 uh, books cost is 5550 into 15.60 so this is 15% 2% and 5% so make it calculation easier we will take 15.60 common so what was left 2% of 3000 5% of 3000 15% of 5550 so now you have to calculate only percentage of copies and that copies will be multiplied by 15.60 so here when you calculate 2% of 3000 that give me 60 5% of 3000 give me 150 15% 15 of 5550 give me 832.5 so that total number of copies will be multiplied 15.60 that give me total cost 16263 is the total earning of the author from the book that is given by the publisher now second part of this question is you have to find how much uh, total profit gained by the publisher and what was the profit percentage if cost uh, on publishing the book and uh, advertising everything is 68000 and after 68000 from how much they receive from the market like they receive total 180 rupees uh, to for the book selling price total selling price of the book from that they first they remove 68,000 that is their own cost they already uh, put 68,000 on publishing the books and 16,263 from that they give to the author for writing the book and total cost of the books will be considered as by adding this 84,263 and total selling price 180,180 then profit is selling price minus total cost price because overhead expenses we consider this is overhead expenses so profit will be selling price minus cost price that is 95,917 and profit percent formula is 95,970 divided by original cost price that is publishing price only into 100 that is 141.05 percent now our next question is uh, like your extra practice question here Rita bought a computer Rita bought a computer for rupees 22,000 and a scanner for rupees 9,000. Okay, the rate of GST on each uh, item is computer and scanner is 12%. So, how much total price Rita has to pay to the shopkeeper? Now, cost price of computer is 22,000 rupees. Selling price of computer is because 12% GST is added on that 22,000 plus 12% of GST. By adding all this, then total selling price will be 24,640 including GST. Similarly, scanner cost price is 9,000 and selling price when uh, selling price uh, that uh, Rita has to pay selling price cost price means uh, you can also set that mark price by the shopkeeper selling price of scanner is 9000 plus 12% of 9000 because GST of 12% is added in that so that gives you 10,080 rupees so total payment paid by Rita 
जो प्राइस जी हैज़ टू पे ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड फोर्टी प्लस टेन थाउजेंड एटी दैट इज थर्टी फोर थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी रुपीज टोटल विथ जी एस टी ऑन ईच आइटम नेक्स्ट इज द सेलिंग प्राइस ऑफ एन आर्टिकल विथ जी एस टी जी एस टी इज इंक्लूडेड इन दैट दैट इज ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी टू इफ द जी एस टी ऑन द आर्टिकल इज ट्वेंटी एट परसेंट वट इज द प्राइस ऑफ द आर्टिकल so we consider original price is x gst 28% selling price is 24192 including gst then according to the statement x plus 28% of x is 24192 when you take common here x then calculate your x value is 18900 rupees that is the total original price of the article without gst now mekha got a discount of 20% on a dress now your 10th question is this mekha got a discount of 20% on a dress she bought the mark price was rupees 8000 uh, for the dress if she had to pay gst 18% on the price at which she bought how much did she pay okay when uh, mekha went to the market to buy a dress he saw that mark price was there 8000 and 20% discount is written in that so to calculate the price like uh, price of the selling price 20% of this mark price will be deducted from that so that will be considered as selling price but before final selling price 18% of gst is added of the new discounted price so that price will be paid by mekha so how will you show that one first you have to what is given to you mark price of the dress mark price of dress so that is given in your question that is 8000 rupees now discount is given discount percent is given that is 20% so what was the discount price now you have to find the discount price so what was the discount price so that is 20% of mark price 20% of mark price mark price is 8000 20 by 100 into 8000 now after calculation we will get 1600 rupees that means 1600 will be deducted as a discount from the mark price so selling price of dress selling price of dress is equal to mark price minus discount discount price so that will be the selling price set after the discount 8000 minus 1600 gives you 6400 rupees that means dress cost uh, now after discount become 6400 now when mika want to buy this dress she has to pay the gst also gst always calculated on the final amount paid by the customer so that is 18% of 6400 rupees now when you calculate this one 18 by 100 into 6400 after calculation you will get the amount 64 uh, into 18 that is 1100 52 rupees that is 1152 rupees is the gst price so what was the bill amount total including gst bill amount is equal to selling price selling price is 6400 plus 1152 as gst that means 7552 rupees or 7552 rupees mika has to pay mika has to pay Mika has to pay rupees seven thousand five hundred fifty-two rupees. Next, your last question of extra practices: the GST on a refrigerator at the rate of twelve percent is eleven hundred seventy. Find the actual price of the uh, actual sale price. So GST price is given. GST percentage is given to you. You have to find the what was the actual price. So we consider actual sale price is equal to x twelve because GST is always calculated on the final price. So twelve percent of actual price, like actual sale price, is equal to eleven hundred seventy according to the statement. So twelve percent of x is equal to eleven hundred seventy. Twelve by hundred into x is equal to eleven hundred seventy. When you cross multiply this, uh, x is your 
रिक्वायर्ड एक्चुअल सेल प्राइजेस नाइन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी रुपीज थैंक यू हैव अ नाइस डे